from the Zayn Scholars Arena, it's time for the Inter-University Battle of Brains. This is the 2009 Zayn Africa Challenge. And now, here's the man with the question, Walimu John Sibiot Kumu. Hello and welcome to the Zayn Africa Challenge 2009, Africa's International Inter-University Question and Answer Championship. This year, 32 teams have earned the right to compete through their national qualifying tournaments. They'll be answering questions on current affairs, science, sports, literature, history, geography, pop culture, and indeed more besides. This season, we welcome teams from West Africa. So our players have come from Ghana, Kenya, Malawi, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Tanzania, Uganda, and Zambia. That makes eight. They're taking part in a 31-game knockout tournament. That is win and stay, lose and leave, but never empty-handed. Time once again for the introductions in this round two game. Entering from my right is the Zayn Scholars team from the University of Lagos, Nigeria. Peter Bello, fourth year electrical engineering in Ososo. Asamea Kibi, fifth year electrical engineering in Wohini. Odisi Diakwa, fifth year medicine and surgery in Ekuma. And from my left is the Zayn Scholars team from Valley View University, Ghana. Thomas Bonf, junior, second year theology from Ankesim. Alosha Scott, fourth year banking and finance, Lofa County, Liberia. David Amable, fourth year computer science, Anglogan. A very warm welcome to both our teams. This year, you and your universities will share over one million US dollars in individual, institutional, and travel grants. The outright winners will take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy, plus 5,000 US dollars each, plus 50,000 US dollars for their university, all courtesy of Zane. And if you're watching at home, we won't leave you out of the action because you too can play and win the Zane game. A review of the rules. There'll be three rounds of face-off and bonus questions followed by the final 60-second speed round that is the ultimate challenge. Each of you will take up the center position to answer face-off questions on your own without conferring. If you answer a face-off correctly for 10 points, your whole team can help you to answer the bonus question for 20 points. First in the center position for Valley View University, Ghana, is Thomas. Thomas, a student of theology, what are you going to do for the world when you graduate? Thank you very much. I'm a theology student currently, and I'd like to continue with medicine and then law, because um, it's very fascinating if God uses you to heal people, to bring healing to mankind. So with my medical and legal backgrounds, I'll be able to heal people both physiologically and psychologically, God willing. Thank you very much for saying that. The University of Lagos, Oseme, a student of electronic and electric engineering, a double degree, and uh, being the lady on the team, anything to say about social change for women? Yeah, the f uh, if I had a chance to change anything, I'd like to um, empower women more. Uh, to this end, I'm participating in a program back at home. They're enabling, you're giving young women skills that they're going to pass on later on to rural women. The point is we help them, we train them with necessary skills for trading, we give them, we help them secure loans from microfinance companies, and then eventually we hope that when they make more money, they'll be able to send their children to school, and then we have a better world all around. You'll have a better team all around if you choose the first category. You won the toss yeah. earlier on. Have a look at our first four categories, and they are fore and aft, animals, it's a date. Traditional sounds. Fore and aft. It is. Which two-syllable word ending in AFT was the crime of sorcery or practicing magic? Valley View. Witchcraft. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which four-letter word ending in AFT? One Raft. is a simple flat boat. Raft. Two means crazy or foolish. Daft. Daft. Is Daft. correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 30. Thomas, choice of category, please. Animals. Animals it is. 
Which largest class of the phylum Anthropoda has a segmented body, jointed legs, and an exoskeleton? Valley view. Cockroach. No, I'm turning it over to the University of Lagos. Spider. No, the correct answer is insect. Thomas, choice of category, please. Fore and aft. It is. Fore deck, fore shank, fore top, which is not part of a ship. University of Lagos. Fore top. I'm turning it over to the value view. Fore shank. It's correct for 20 bonus points. Which ship whose name ends in F-O-R-E was the title of a Gilbert and Sullivan operetta? Silver four. No, the correct answer is HMS Pinafore. Value view, Thomas, Animals. choice of category, please. Animals it is. What is the name for the fin on a shark's back which sticks out of the water? Valley view. I'm turning it over. Dasso. Is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Great white mako whale. One. Which shark is the largest living fish? Great white. No, the correct answer is whale. Two. Which is the most dangerous to man? Great white. Is correct for 10 points. Bringing your total to 20 against value views 40 or semi choice of category, please. Animals. Animals it is. Originally known as the Chinese gooseberry, which fruit was renamed after an indigenous bird and national symbol of New Zealand? Value view. Kiwi. Is correct. For 20 bonus points, gaucho guano guarani, which Peruvian G word is fertilizer from the excrement of seabirds and bats? Guano. Is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 70 against the University of Lagos. 20. Thomas, choice of category, please. Animals. Animals it is. Dica fossa kudu, which cat like creature is Madagascar's largest predator mammal? Value view. Dica. No, I'm turning it over to Lagos. Fossa. Fossa is correct for 20 bonus points. The only larger predator on Madagascar is which aquatic oh. reptile? Crocodile. Is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 50. Or say, may choice of category, please. Traditional sound. It is. Which verbal name is used for the group of drums that includes West Africa's Atumpan and Dundun? University of Lagos. Talking. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, talking oh. drums are often which shape named after a timekeeping device? Hourglass. Is correct. And two, Pitch, tempo, chord, squeezing the drum, strings, tightens a drum, raising which sound quality? Pitch. Is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 80 against value views 70. Oseme, choice of category, Traditional please. Traditional sound. It is clay, wood, steel, leather. India's gatam and Africa's udu are drums made from which material? University of Lagos. Steel. No, I'm turning it over to value view. Leather. No, the correct answer is clay. End of round one. There's only 10 points in it at this stage. Valley View 70, Lagos 80. And now, a wonderful word from our sponsors, Zane. Zane's CSR activities reach across Africa and impact all the markets it serves. Zane's primary focus is support of education through book donations the setting up of computer labs, and the refurbishment and furnishing of classrooms. We have been lacking more books, but we have got the books here. As an organization, we are committed and we have a mission, and that is to empower the youth, achieve their aspirations, okay? And we do that not only through products and services which fulfill their uh, needs, but also by uh, having a very strong approach in corporate social responsibility. Zane also empowers communities through projects which create safe water supplies, improve the ecology and environment by planting trees, and provide support in the critical health sector. Zane, building our nation for a wonderful world. That was a wonderful word from our sponsors, Zane. Onwards, onwards, round two. The score stands at 70 points for Valley View University, Ghana, against 80 points for the University of Lagos, Nigeria. We have two new face-off players in center position. For the University of Lagos, we have ODC, who is a student of medicine, future plans. Yeah, when I finish medical school, I want to spend a year or two traveling with Doctor Without Borders. I like the idea of it, giving medical care to people that can't afford it, and being close to the true calling of medicine. 
medicine where there's no money involved. Take care of yourself. These things tend to be dangerous. Aloysius, Valley View University, Ghana. You are a student of finance. And what are you going to be when you grow up, sir? I would like to be a minister of finance for my country. First of all, I would like to thank the Ghanaians for their cordial accommodation. And then upon my graduation, I'll go back to my country, get in one of the banks, and rise through the feet to become the minister of finance for my country. Well, I hope you spend the money on Liberia, not on yourself. And for the moment, you can spend your thoughts on our next four categories. Have a look at our four new categories, and they are geography, 20th century history, African literature, the science of nutrition. Geography. Geography it is. Which G8 nation with Europe's largest economy is home to the European Central Bank? University of Lagos. Germany. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Name the only nation beginning with G that borders A, the Aegean Sea. Greece. That is correct. And two, the Black Sea. Georgia. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 110 against Valley View 70. Odyssey, choice of category, please. Science and nutrition. It is. Which letter names the vitamin produced in the body through exposure to sunlight? University of Lagos. Vitamin D. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, which wavelength of sunlight, abbreviated UV, produces vitamin D? Ultraviolet. That is correct. And two, vitamin D prevents which childhood bone development Rickets. disorder? That is correct. Yeah. For 20 points, bringing your total to 140 against Valley View 70. Odyssey, choice of category, Size please. Size nutrition. It is. Nutritionists recommend a diet high in which portion of fruits, vegetables, and grains that humans cannot digest? Valley View. Roughage. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Carbohydrates, fats, proteins. One. Which are long chains of sugars? Carbohydrate. That is correct. Two. Which are complicated chains of nitrogen containing acids? Proteins. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 100. Against Lagos is 140. Aloysius' choice of category, please. Geography. It is. Which nation of Central America has a name beginning with G? University of Lagos. Guyana. No, I'm turning it over to Valley View. Guatemala. That is correct. And that sound of lightning means that you, Aloysius, get to answer today's Zane Super Bonus for 30 points rather than the usual 20. It's in a special category, which today is the movies. Please take a look at your screen. Shown these Halle Berry characters. Name the film. 1A. X-Men. Correct. 2B. Batman. No, the correct answer is Catwoman. 3C. The Matrix. No, the James Bond movie, Die Another Day. 10 points, bringing your total to 120 against Lagos is 140. 20 points in it. Aloysius, choice of category, please. Geography. Geography it is. The city of Granada, home to the Alhambra Palace, is in which European nation? University of Lagos. Spain. Spain is correct for 20 bonus points. Ache Mughal Nasrid, Granada's Alhambra Palace, was built by which Islamic dynasty that occupied Nasrid. Spain until 1492? Nasrid. Is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 170. Odyssey, choice of category, please. Science of nutrition. It is. The soil of much of Central and Western Africa is deficient in which dietary element, the lack of which causes goiter? Valley View. Iodine. Is correct for 20 bonus points. Most of the body's iodine is concentrated in which gland found in the neck? The thyroid. Is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 150. Still 20 points in it because Lagos have got 170. Aloysius, choice of category, please. The science of nutrition. It is. Fats, grains, proteins, starch. The most serious nutritional problem among African children under age five is a deficiency in which food group? Valley View. Stash. No, I'm turning it over to the University Proteins. of Lagos. It's correct for 20 bonus points. Which four syllable K word, meaning disease of the displaced child, in the Ga language of Ghana, named severe protein malnutrition Quash in children? Alcohol. It's correct. <laughs> End of round two. There's now 50 points in it as the score stands at 150 for Valley View against 200 for the University of Lagos. We'll be back to take more of the Zane Africa Challenge. Stay with us after this break. Tonight in a wonderful world, know more about it, we'll take on how can I keep my family safe from cholera. Bacteria that lives in water causes cholera. 
Most people get sick from drinking unclean water or eating food washed with unclean water. Many people can carry the bacteria without ever getting sick and they can pass it to others if they fail to wash their hands with soap and water after using the toilet. For prevention, a simple rule is boil it, cook it, peel it or forget it. If you wash vegetables in water, you should boil or cook them to kill any cholera bacteria that may have been in the water. Fruits such as vegetables that you peel yourself should also be safe from cholera. The single most important factor in surviving cholera is drinking enough safe water to replace what is lost due to the illness. With proper liquids, 99% of patients recover from cholera. That's it for tonight. If there's a subject or question which you'd like us to explore, email me at mwalimu at zaneafricachallenge.com. Welcome back. This is the moment to acknowledge our educational partners, the ministries of education in the competing countries and all the participating universities themselves. Thank you for your support. <laughs> onwards, onwards, round three. The score stands at 150 for Valley View University, Ghana, against 200 for the University of Lagos, Nigeria. Two new people in center position. We have Peter for the University of Lagos, and I do believe that you're also studying electrics and electronics, a double degree like Oseme. What do you think is the world's major problem? I think the world's major problem right now is global warming. You know, it's something that could annihilate all of us. But I think we are fighting it and we are winning. You know, a lot of countries are signing the Kyoto Protocol and we also should play our part, you know, using less electricity, you know, simple things like putting your computer on standby, you know, and I think we'll win. A practical solution. Please, yeah. people, keep your computers on standby. David, yeah. you are a student of... Computer science. Of computer science. I'm going to talk to you about human values. Which do you consider to be the most important and why? Well, I have three, discipline, unity and love. And they were all passed down to me by my father and his, should I say, 17 siblings. 17, there was a lot of love going on there. Yes, there was, there was, there definitely was. <laughs> right, and we're going to love you when you choose a new category, I assure you. Have a look at our four new categories and they are FIFA World Cup, Geometry, Nature in the News. Who am I? Geometry. Geometry it is. What is the brief geometric formula for calculating the area of a circle from its radius? University of Lagos. Per R square. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Triangle, cube, cylinder, sphere. The volume of which is calculated by 1, 4 thirds times pi times radius cubed. Sphere. That is correct. And 2, pi times radius squared times height. Cylinder. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 230 against value views 150. Peter, choice of category, please. Geometry. It is. Which four-letter word names a geometric solid with a round base that narrows to a single point at the top? University of Lagos. Cone. It's correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Mm -hmm. Slicing through a cone can create a circle an ellipse, or one of two oh, open-ended no. curves ending in BOLA. Name these two curves. Parabola, hyperbola. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 260. Peter, choice of category, please. Geometry. It is. A trapezoid is a four-sided figure with how many parallel sides? Valley view. Two. Two is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. How many sides are found on each of these solid figures? One, the tetrahedron. Four. That is correct. Two, the dodecahedron. Twelve. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 180 against the University of Lagos is 260. David, choice of category, please. Who am I? Who am I it is. An Englishman, I wrote about properties of white light as it split into colors in my work, Optics. Who am I? University of Lagos. Isaac Newton. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which P word is a transparent medium that splits light into colors? Prism. That is correct. Two, which R word names the bending of light? Refraction. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 290. Peter, choice of category, please. Who am I? It is, I fired Pakistan's chief justice and lost an election despite my rival's death. I am which general and former president? Valley View. 
I'm turning it over to the University of Lagos. Sure that is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Bhutto Sharif Chowdhury. One, who was the Chief Justice sacked by Musharraf? Sharif. No, the correct answer is Chowdhury. Two, who was Musharraf's assassinated challenger? Bhutto. That is correct for 10 points, bringing your total to 310. Peter, choice of category, please. Who am I? Who am I it is. My movies include Romeo Must Die and Cradle to the Grave. In 2008, I starred as the Dragon Emperor in the third Mummy film. Who am I? Valley View. Jet Li. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, which D rapper co-starred in both Romeo Must Die and Cradle to the Grave? DMX. That is correct. Two, the first Mummy film was set in which country? Egypt. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 210. David, choice of category, please. Who am I? Who am I it is. I starred in Driving Miss Daisy and the Shawshank Redemption and won an Oscar for Million Dollar Baby. Who am I? Valley View. Clint Eastwood. No, I'm turning it over to Lagos. René Zerga. No, the correct answer is Morgan Freeman. Okay, End of round three. <laughs> the score stands at 210 for Valley View University, Ghana against 310 for the University of Lagos, Nigeria. We'll be back to play the ultimate challenge when either team has its last chance to win. But first, here's your chance to play and win the Zane game. This SMS game is open to Zane customers only. The first correct player wins a Zane USB data card with 1,000 Naira airtime. The second correct player wins a 4GB iPod the third correct player wins a 2GB iPod. The fourth and fifth correct players win vouchers for Zane Airtime worth 3,000 Naira. The question for today is, in 1923, Herbert Macaulay established which first Nigerian political party? Is it A, the National Party of Nigeria, B, National Democratic Party, or C, Action Group? SMS your answer to 33996. Choose A for National Party of Nigeria, B National Democratic Party, or C Action Group. SMS your answer to 33996. Winners will be called and advised on how to collect their prizes. Happy playing everybody. And now for the ultimate challenge. One last chance for each of the teams to win. You've got 60 seconds to answer 10 questions as a team in the category of your choice. Speed is of the essence. You can answer or pass on any question. Every correct answer is worth 50 points. If you answer all 10 correctly, each of you will win an extra 500 US dollars in cash. The score stands at 210 for Valley View University, Ghana, against 310 for the University of Lagos, Nigeria. But it's still anyone's game because the ultimate challenge is worth 500 points. Valley View University, you're behind, so you play first. Remember, the ultimate challenge is the ultimate choice. Have a look at our four final categories, and they are heads of government, INNs it, wire to wire, notable places. Heads of government. Heads of government it is. Take a deep breath, gentlemen. Given the nation of each of these heads of government for their respective countries, and seconds away, Prime Minister Stephen Harper. Canada. Yes. President Thomas Boniayi. Yes. President of government Joel Lucio Zapatero. Pass. Prime Minister Tars Aso. Japan. Yes. Prime Minister Bernard Makuza. Pass. President Evo Morales. Spain. No. Prime Minister Costas Karamlis. Pass. President Yaya Jame. Gambia. Gambia. Yes. President Felipe Calderon. Pass. Spain. Prime Minister Luisa Diego. Pass. President of the government Jose Luis Zapatero. Angola. No. Prime Minister Bernard Makuza. Morocco. No. President Evo Morales. Cuba. No. Prime Minister Costa Caramlis. Costa Rica. No. President Felipe Calderon. Spain. No. Prime Minister Luisa Diogo. Portugal. No. President of the government Jose Luis Zapatero. Angola. 
No. Prime Minister Tanzania. Bennett? Tanzania. No. You answered four questions correctly, giving a total of 200 for the ultimate challenge and a final score of 410. Let's see the ones that we got wrong. Zapatero equals Spain. Bernard Macuza, Rwanda. Evo Morales, Bolivia. Costas Caramles, Greece. Felipe Calderon, Mexico. And finally, Luisa Diogo, Mozambique. The University of Lagos. You are with a score of 310 at this stage, 100 points behind, and you need three correct answers in the category of your choice to emerge as today's winners. Which of the three remaining categories might you choose? I and ends it. I and ends it, it is. <laughs> Lady and gentlemen, please take a deep breath. Identify these people, places, and things that end in I-N, and seconds away, a naval officer... Come on. Yes. In muscle constructions, Myerson's partner. Actin. Yes. Appeasement predecessor of Winston Churchill. Wilson. No. Ah. The only African country ending in I-N. Pass. In stories, when he robbed Aladdin. the land... Yes. At a French dinner table, it's called a self Napkin. Yes. Naturalist to avoid from the... Yes. Canada's largest island. Pass. One who kills for political reasons. Yes. Mythical creature, part Pass. eagle and part lion. Pass. Appeasement predecessor of Winston Churchill. Pass. The only African country ending in iron. Pass. Canada's largest island. Baffin. Yes. Mythical creature, part eagle, part lion. Pass. Appeasement. Pass. The only Benin. African. Yes. Mythical creature, part eagle and part lion. Pass. Pass. Appeasement predecessor of Winston Churchill. Pass. Mythical, Mythical creature. Oh. Time's up. <laughs> you answered eight questions correctly in the ultimate challenge, giving you a total of 400 points. And with a grand total of 710, the University of Lagos, Nigeria, is the winner of today's Zain Africa Challenge. Let's see the ones that you got wrong. Churchill's predecessor was Neville Chamberlain, and the mythical creature was a griffin. <laughs> Valley View University, Ghana, sad to say goodbye. I hope to catch up with one of you as Minister of Finance, where there'll be lots of money. But for the time being, you'll be taking away 1,000 US dollars each, plus $10,000 as an institutional grant for your university. For the University of Lagos, Nigeria. Akushe, well done, well won. We look forward to seeing you in the quarterfinals. You're still in the running to take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy. And as outright winners, 5,000 US dollars each and 50,000 US dollars for your university, all courtesy of Zane. In our next game, Edgerton University from Kenya takes on Busoga University from Uganda in the international inter-university battle of brains that is the Zane Africa Challenge. To join us again, from all of us here, it's bye-bye till next time.